So start shaking and wriggling. And bounce up and down a few times and go. Place that's not a good position for your hips and find a more comfortable position for your legs. Okay. And the hands can be a little bit away from you with the palms up, or you can rest your hands onto your tummy, it's all good. Okay. Think about allowing the chest to be wide open and then close your eyes if you can and take a nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And again, a nice deep breath in through the nose and a big sigh out. One more time, deep breath in and let it go. And then allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly. And watch as the breath flows in and watch as the breath flows out. Notice how you're feeling right now. And notice how you're breathing. And when you feel ready, encourage the breath in to be a little bit deeper and the breath out to be a little bit longer, just breath by breath. Maybe imagining you're breathing in through the heart center and send the breath all the way down to the um, pelvic floor, relaxing the pelvic floor. Then when you breathe out, gently squeeze the pelvic floor, dome it up a little bit and send the breath back up towards the heart center. And that brings us to our theme of, for this week, which is the heart chakra. What a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> this is all about love. Okay. and you know what's happening on Saturday, so anyway. <laughs> so the heart chakra is the center of love, but it isn't of that selfish little me, 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 love me, love me, love me center. It is the kind of love that is unconditional. Okay. It is the love that doesn't ask the other person to be perfect, it isn't needy. It is very much about being compassionate to all beings. It is about recognizing our connection with one another. Okay? And you notice that when we feel pain, we close up our heart center, we round the spine, and we just block the heart up that way. Okay? And when you're feeling good, on a good day when you're all happy, you're wide open, the chest is wide open, and you're filled with love. So we're going to just work on keeping our chest wide open, our heart wide open, and keeping the heart nice and soft and filled with compassion today. So there'll be lots of chanting as always. Okay? I forgot to say the heart centre obviously is also where we hold grief. And there's nothing wrong with having some pain there as long as you remember there's always joy, there's always love. Okay? And as I always say, let love be your guide and you can't go wrong. Okay? So let's start to really engage the pelvic floor a little bit more. So when you're breathing out now, Gently squeeze and lift upwards and hug the ribs in towards the spine. And when you breathe in, breathe into the heart, let the ribs go wide and let the pelvic floor open wide and relax back down. And just do two more breaths here like that. And then when you're ready, we're going to use our next out breath to put the soles of the feet on the mat roll over to one side, move the bricks out, and then lie back down. And let's do a few body stretches. Be careful not to stretch into the camera, Lewis. <laughs> there are two Lewis's in here, so 
Just bear that in mind, okay? If I say Lewis, just go, which one? <laughs> All right, just do a big stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other and stretch it out side to side a few times. And then when you're ready, bring the knees into the chest, wrap your arms across your legs, give yourself a big cuddle. Okay? You might want to bring your forehead up towards your knees and breathe into the back of the heart. And gently rocking side to side. And then relax the head back down and do a few hip circles here. Okay. Any version of the hip circles is good. And then go the opposite direction a few times. Lovely, and let's extend the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling and rotate the wrists and ankles a few times in one direction. And a few times in the opposite direction. Lovely, and now we're going to bring our feet back down onto the mat, grab a brick, and you're going to place the brick underneath your left foot. And you want to make sure that you have your feet sort of roughly in um, like a bridge position. So feet are at least hip width apart, ankles are underneath the knees. If you have the other brick nearby, you can grab it and hold it in your hand just so that it's there. Right? And we're going to take a nice deep breath in here and reach your arms overhead to the floor behind you. As you breathe out, push down into the feet, lift your bum, lift your spine up. And then as you breathe in, keep pressing into the left foot, extend the right leg forward, lift it up, extend it forward. As you breathe out, draw the right knee in and bring the brick in your hand to tap the knee. Breathe in and extend the leg away, extend the arms away. Breathe out and bring them to touch. Okay? Keep going. Try not to rock your spine up and down. Try not to drop the hips either. So you're really pushing down into your left foot Keep the glutes on that side engaged and keep the spine lifted nice and high. Okay? And I don't know how many you've done now, I'm guessing five or six. Let's do six and then lower down when you've done six. Okay? And then extend your left leg up towards the ceiling and just give it a little shake, maybe tap it out a little or draw it closer to you. Okay? And then lower the left leg down, set, to move the brick over to the right side. Okay? and set yourself up again for this crazy bridge. So we're going to inhale, take the arms overhead. As you exhale, press into the feet, lift your bum, lift your spine up, and then inhale, reach your left leg forward, lift it up, and exhale, bring the left knee and the brick to touch. Inhale, extend it forward. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale and draw in and do Three more like that. Okay. And as with the other side, when you've done it, just lower down and reach your right leg up towards the ceiling so that you can stretch it out a little. Okay. That right leg, the back of the right leg needs a little stretching out. Okay. Maybe drawing it in a little closer to you. Fabulous. Lovely. And then let's have a few little twists here. So have your feet wide, knees wide. And it's really important when you're this close to each other to know where your left is from your right because otherwise you'll be hitting each other. So take your arms a little bit out to the side or, or you can bring your arms into cactus arm position unless you want to touch your friend next to you, that's okay. okay. Take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, drop the knees down to the right. Inhale there, think about spinning your chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale, roll over to the left. And inhale, chest towards the ceiling, tuck the tailbone and go again. Exhale to the right. Inhale, scoop the tailbone, spin the chest up. Exhale to the left. And again, inhale, spin the chest up. One more time to the right, but when you get there, Take the right foot and place it on top of your left knee. So, and then gently guide that left knee down. If you can look back towards your left hand, go ahead and do that. Breathe. And then we're going to lower our right foot down and use our out breath to roll to the left. 
and place the left foot on top of the right knee okay? and look back towards your right hand if your neck is comfortable doing that if not just look up okay? and breathe and then lower your left foot down use your out breath coming back up for center and bring the knees into the chest and begin to roll up and down the spine a few times like you're trying to come up to sit and then you can come up and don't hover for a moment just come and sit because i want to show you what we're doing i know it gets really confusing because we will be turning to face the back and then we'll be turning forward so follow the people around you if you get confused okay so what we're going to do watch me first we're going to come into a half boat okay then we're going to lower the feet down Turn as if we're about to go into the side crow and take the hands down. We're not going into the side crow, we're just going to lift the bum up, okay? And then, so I'm going to turn the other way so I can show you. So we're here, and we're going to lift the bum up, and then we're going to walk our hands towards the back corner, walk our feet towards the opposite corner, coming into plank, and we're going to lower Chaturanga, come back up, do a little bit of a side thing, come back up, walk around to the back of the mat, find our way all the way to the floor, lift into locust, come back up, go to the other corner, start with dropping the hips, lower chakranga a little bit if you like, then you're going to walk your feet, your hands towards each other, and then you're going to lower down your face in front again, I hope. <laughs> okay? Because we weren't successful on Monday, and we weren't successful on Wednesday, let's see if we're successful on Thursday. So, shall we sit nice and tall? We're going to go right first, okay? And I'm going to do this first one with you because otherwise I won't get the right and left right either, okay? So right is that way, yeah? So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, lean back a little. Squeeze your inner thighs and lift your legs up. Take a deep breath in here. As you breathe out, lower the feet down and twist to your right, okay? Bring your hands down. Push into your hands, lift your bum. Now walk your hands to the back corner of your mat, okay? And your feet are going in the opposite direction. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you can lower the knees first or just lower chaturanga. Inhale, come back up into plank. As you exhale, you're dropping your right heel. So roll, roll to the right and sink your hips down a little bit. And then inhale, press back up. Walk around to face the back of your mat into your plank, take a breath. And as you breathe out, find your way all the way down onto your tummy, either through chaturanga or just lower down, okay? Then inhale, lift your chest, lift your feet, lift your arms up. Yeah. Hold it here a moment. Maybe reach your arms back. Really lift the legs up, up, up. And then exhale, lower the legs, lower the hands down. And we're going to tuck the toes under and inhale up into plank. Now you're going to walk to your right, so to the right back corner of your mat, okay? And walk your feet to the opposite side and you're sideways on your mat. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to roll to the left foot and sink your hips down. Inhale, come back up into the back. Exhale, either knees down or not, lower chaturanga. Inhale, come back up. And then you're going to walk your hands and your feet towards each other on that right side. So don't go to the left, your arms are going to be on the outside of your right side, yeah? And then you're going to, your right arm is on the outside of your left leg. You're right, keep going. Right arm to the outside of your left leg. And then sit down in front and come back into move. You got to the front, that's all that matters. Some of us do. Take a deep breath in and then lower down. Are we okay? Can we go the other way? So I, I did say that last bit wrong, so it was my fault. You're walking to your right side, but it's your right arm on the outside of your left leg, isn't it? No, right and right. No, it is right and right. No, it's not. That's right on left. Right on left. Like that? Yeah. Yes, That's right on right. That's my right leg. Yeah, but it's your left arm, so you've gone the other way. <laughs> Isn't it confusing? We'll go the other way. So sit nice and tall. Squeeze your legs together. Take a, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw the feet in and lift up. Yeah. And then we're going to inhale, lower the feet down. And as you exhale, twist to your left. Bring your hands down. Okay. Left is 
that way. <laughs> and we're going to lift our bum up and we're walking our hands to the back corner of the mat, our feet to the opposite corner, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're lowering into Chakaranga or Half Jack. Inhale, come back up. As you exhale, you're going to drop your right heel, left heel, the left heel, right, left heel now, right? And then lift back up, walk around to the back of your mat into plank, take a deep breath. As you exhale, lower all the way down onto your tummy, either through Chaturanga or lower. Inhale, lifting your hands, lifting your chest, lifting your legs. Hold it a moment. You might want to do funny things with your arms. You can serve them forward as long as you don't hit people. Serve them forward and back like you're swimming if you like. Okay. Beautiful. And then exhale, lower your hands down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, lift up into plank. Exhale, walk to the left. Okay, your feet go diagonal, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're dropping the right heel. So, dropping the right hip down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower chaturanga or half chak. Inhale, come back up. Now, you're going to keep walking your left arm and your right leg towards each other. Okay, so you're twisting around. Yeah, and then you sit down and you float your legs up and you smile and think how wonderful that was. <laughs> Yay! Well done. Now roll your shoulders back and down because I've forgotten what else we were doing. So bear with me. Oh yeah, that's all we're doing for today. That's all the core work. But everything is hot, so don't forget that. Shall we come onto our hands and knees? Okay. Have your shoulders, elbows and wrists in alignment knees underneath the hips, okay. and as you breathe in, slide your chest forward and look up. As you breathe out, push into the earth and lift the back of the heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale, heart forward, look up. Exhale and round the spine. Again, inhale, heart forward, look up. Exhale and round the spine. And then wriggle your spine in all directions. Have a little fun here. Okay. Move everything. Martin, is your arm okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's, yeah I'm sorry. Blood pressure. I'm going to take my arm okay. 24 hours. Okay. Is your blood pressure okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> you would let me know if it wasn't okay, wouldn't you? Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So let's um, do something really nice, my favourite thing to do. We're going to inhale, lift the right arm up, look up. It's not really my favourite thing. Exhale, take the right arm out to the left and keep reaching it out, bringing your right shoulder down and the right side of your head down. Okay? Then press down into your finger pads of the left hand and roll the left shoulder onto your back. Spin your chest up towards the ceiling. And if you want to, you can take that left arm and wrap it behind your back. Okay? And keep spinning your chest up and breathe. And then inhale, release that left arm. And as you exhale, press down into your left hand and come back up. We're going to inhale and take the left arm up. And exhale, slide the left arm out behind the right and bring your left shoulder down. Okay? And then again, spin your chest up a little bit more towards the ceiling. And you might want to take your right arm up and wrap it behind your back and breathe. So take it, wrap it if it feels good. Okay. And then inhale, lifting that arm up. And as you exhale, bring it down, press into your hands and come up. And just one more little thing before we go up, okay? So I want you to think about keeping your hips stacked above your knees, okay? So try not to bring your hips forward. Keep the hips stacked. We're going to walk the hands forward, okay? So let's not think about melting the chest to the floor. You can melt your chest back towards your thighs and draw your shoulder blades towards each other and relax the head down at this point and just gently sway the hips side to side if you like. And then those of you who feel like you want to take it a little bit further already, you can start to melt your chest a little closer to the floor. Wonderful. And then slowly find your way back up onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under and exhale all the way back into downward dog. 
and my senior dog to start to bend one knee and then the other a few times. Wonderful. Can you take your hands really wide so you're grabbing hold of the edges of the mat? Okay? And get, ground the heels back and down. They don't have to come all the way to the floor, but think about placing the weight of the body down into the back of your feet, into the heels. Okay? Then melt your chest back towards your thighs again. Okay? And take a deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Ya, ya, yum, ya, ya, yum, ya, ya, yum, ya, ya, yum. Ya, ya, yum, ya, ya, yum, ya, ya, yum, ya, ya, yum. Deep breath in, walking your hands back to center. And as you exhale, step or jump or float to the front of the mat. If you're floating, try not to fall on the person next to you or in front of you. And then hang out in the forward bend, everybody. Okay. So hang out, allowing the back of the heart to lift up towards the ceiling a little bit, relax the neck. You might want to grab hold of the opposite arms and just press down into the crooks of the elbows to help you lengthen a bit. Maybe even swaying side to side a few times. Wonderful. And then release the arms and use your out breath. Press into the feet and roll all the way up. And once you're up, you can inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale mm. So if you want to have breaks, please have breaks. And we're going to come to the front of the mat. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Yesterday I came to teach the class, I thought it was my first time. I haven't made it up until I went along. It's great. Do you think I should just turn this off? <laughs> <laughs> Standing nice and tall at the front of the mat. Big smile on your face. So, you know when you're like really close to each other, if there's no room to like take your arms out without smacking somebody else, think about taking the back of the hands forward, float up and lift up and it's quite nice, same thing. Yeah, just, just don't do that. Okay, so when you're ready, let's push into the feet, inhale, float the arms up and lift the chest. Exhale, draw the belly in and fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway, reach your heart forward. And then exhale, take your hands down, step or jump back into downward dog. We're going to inhale, bend the knees a little bit. As you exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, and then sink your hips down. Lift your chest up, take a breath in. As you breathe out, you might just want to lower straight to the floor or go through Chaturanga and then come to the floor. And then we're going to inhale, roll the shoulders onto our back and come up into a softish cobra. So your pubic bone is down, your collarbones are wide and your elbows are bent, okay? And take a nice deep breath in here. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah, yum. Inhale, lift the chest a little more. Exhale, wave all the way back into downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, bend the right knee, and send your right foot towards your friend behind you. Lift the outside edge of your right knee up, and maybe look underneath your right arm a little bit and breathe. And as you breathe out next time, step your right foot all the way forward. And we're going to stay on the ball of our left foot, squeezing the inner thighs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. Wonderful. Keep drawing that back heel a little forward, okay, so we're not sinking down. Lift it up. Take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, imagine you're pulling an exercise bar down and press the elbows back. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and lift your heart up as you pull your arms down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and pull. And then hold it here a moment. Think about elbows back, chest lift, but like don't just pop the ribs out. Soften the ribs a little bit. Maybe you find you can lift a little more. And then inhale back to center. 
Exhale, take the hands down, step back into downward dog. We're going to inhale, bend the knees again. Exhale, press the thighs back, weight forward, sink the hips down, lift the chest up, press out through the heels, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower to the floor, either through Chaturanga or just lower. Inhale into Cobra, a big Cobra if you like. Okay. Just going to have a little gentle turning side to side. Just looking around, say hello to your friend on the left. Hello to your friend on the right. If they turn the opposite way, tell them why. Ask them why, not tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're ready, use your out breath. Wave all the way back into downward dog and inhale lift your left leg up bend the left knee open the hips out okay? press the outside edge of the knee up 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 and look a little underneath your left arm okay? and breathe think about grounding down into that right heel and then exhale step your left foot forward okay? squeeze your inner thighs together inhale look forward exhale push into your feet and roll all the way up Draw your right heel forward, belly in a little bit. Inhale here. Exhale, pull the elbows down and back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, draw the chest forward. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, pull down. And then just for a moment, I want you to soften the ribs in a little bit. Now lift your chest up out of your hips a little bit more. And then inhale, back to centre, arms up. Exhale, take your hands down, go back into downward dog. If you want to have a little rest, you can either hold dog or lower into child's pose. Otherwise, inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga or half chat. Inhale into cobra or upward dog. Everybody, exhale back into downward dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, jump, hop, float. And then inhale, reach your heart forward, coming up halfway. Exhale, push into the earth and come all the way up. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Beautiful, have a sip of water before we carry on. And as you exhale, release the hands, step or jump back into downward dog. And inhale, lift your, oh no, I, I lied, don't lift anything. Inhale, if you're, if you're vinyasin, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, sink the hips down, lift the chest up. Inhale in your, whatever this is, up dog. Exhale to the floor, either chaturanga or just lower down. Okay. Inhale into cobra and up or up dog and exhale back into downward dog inhale lift your right leg up bend the right knee open the hips up exhale step your right foot forward and we're going to squeeze the inner thighs in inhale look forward exhale push into the feet come all the way up inhale here and then exhale here because i forgot what i was doing we're going to inhale bend the elbows out to the side lift the chest Exhale, wrap the arms across the chest. Notice which one is on top. Inhale, open the elbows up to the side again. Exhale, cross the other way if you can. Two more. So inhale, open the chest. Exhale, give yourself a big hug. One last one. Inhale, open the front of the chest. Exhale, open the back of the heart. Then we're going to inhale and reach the arms up without hitting the chest. And as you exhale, let's have a little fold forward. 
bringing the hands either onto the floor or onto the brick, sliding the hips back. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, fold over your right leg and gently sway the hips a little if you like. And we're going to inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, step back into downward dog. And as you breathe in, if you're vinyasa, bend the knees a little. As you breathe out, press the thighs back, way forward, sink the hips down, lift the chest, take a breath in in your up dog. And as you breathe out, lower through chaturanga, or just lower to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up into cobra. And exhale, back up into downward dog. And as you breathe in, lift your left leg up, bend the left knee, open the hips out. As you breathe out, step your left foot forward, squeeze your inner thighs in, inhale, look forward, exhale, push into the feet and come up, and we're going to inhale, bend the elbows out and lift the chest. Exhale, open the back of the heart as you give yourself a hug. Inhale, open up again, and keep going. You're going to do two more after this one, right? So think about the foundation, right? Root down, Think about the core, hug in, and then you can open your chest safely. And when you've done that last one, you're going to inhale, take the arms up, and as you exhale, you're going to bring the hands down, slide your hips back, work your front leg towards straight, and then inhale, lift the chest, reach it forward, and as you exhale, fold over your leg and gently sway the hips side to side. And then inhale, bend the front knee. And exhale, step back into downward dog. So lower your hands down from the bricks, okay? And then normal vinyasa if you want to vinyasa. If you don't want to vinyasa, have a rest, okay? If you're vinyasa, you're going to come into plank, take a breath, lower chaturanga, lifting into cobra, and going back into downward dog. And then we're going to inhale, bend the knees, look forward. And as you exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, and inhale, reach your heart forward, coming up halfway. Exhale and fold for a moment. Keep drawing your shoulder blades towards each other. Okay? Relax the neck. And then when you're ready, release the hands and use your out breath. Roll all the way up. And inhale, reach up nice and tall. And then see if you can hold it here a moment. You can take your arms wide, plug down through the feet, and lift your heart up out of your hips. Okay. Lovely. And then relax down on the out breath. Are we okay? Okay, okay. So, what else are we doing? Oh, yeah, lots more. <laughs> Oh no, running away. Lots of people running away. <laughs> What's going on? Mm -hmm. Right, standing nice and tall, not waiting for them. Okay. Have, let's go into chairs. Okay. You've got excited over chair, Jane. So have your legs close together. We're going to sink our bum back and as we exhale, bend the knees. And then we're going to draw the belly in so that we breathe into the chest. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, give ourselves a big hug, which arm is on top, notice that. Inhale, open again. Exhale, wrap again. Two more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, wrap. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, come all the way up, reaching the arms up, lifting the chest up. Exhale, draw the belly in and fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway, reach your heart forward. Exhale, step or jump back into downward dog. Okay. We're going to inhale, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back and come forward into plank pose. Okay. We're going to inhale, lift our right foot up off the floor. As you exhale, you're turning to the left. Okay. And then drop your right foot as close to your right buttock as you can. Push down into the feet, into the left hand. Inhale, spin the chest up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Slide your head back. Okay. 
And then as you exhale, you're going to flip it back, step your right foot forward, bring your left foot in a little bit and grab your left heel down for warrior one. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into your feet, come all the way up. Lovely. We're going to inhale, take the hands behind our back, interlace the fingers and lift the chest up. Exhale, hug the feet in and fold forward. Inhale, press into the feet, come up, lift the chest. Exhale and fold again. Inhale and come back up again. One more time, exhale, fold. And then inhale, come up. Think about drawing your heart up out of the hips again. Okay? And when you're ready, take one more deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Inhale, reach the arms all the way. As you exhale, bring your hands down, step back into downward dog. Maybe have a little dog walk. Wonderful. And then we're going to inhale, bend the knees a little bit. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. You're going to inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, spin to the right and lower your left foot down, close to your left buttock. And then inhale, press into the feet, lift your bum, lift your chest, slide your heart up towards the ceiling. Drop your head back a little bit so you're not fighting yourself. Deep breath in here, and as you exhale, flip back, step your left foot forward, and grab your right heel down for warrior one again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. And inhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Lift the chest up. As you exhale, Hug the feet in and fold forward, relaxing the neck. Inhale, push deeply into the feet, lift all the way back up again. And exhale, fold forward again. Inhale and lift up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift up. Last one, exhale, fold. I didn't miscount that. I did, okay, never mind. Inhale, come up anywhere. Hug the feet in. Draw the ribs in and then lift the chest up and take a nice deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, 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 Exhale, take your hands down, go back into downward dog. We're going to inhale, bend the knees a little bit, everybody. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. When you exhale, this time, lower the knees down, under your hips, and then bring your chest down between your hands. Okay? And then you can stay here with your bum high, or you can try extending one leg back, and then maybe extend the other leg back. So both feet are on the floor, bum high. Okay. And then bring the knees back down. And you're going to come up into cobra for an in-breath. And as you breathe out, go all the way back and up into downward dog. Bend the knees, look forward, take a breath. As you exhale, step up, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, push into the earth and come all the way up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release, give everything a little shake, okay? So that was leading towards a prone position, dancer pose. And then we'll do full dance. Every time you come to class, we do dance pose. So if you know, good, because I'm happy to demo it. <laughs> demo what we all aspire to do one day in life, just not today. So standing nice and tall, everybody. Oh, I've got flying coming in. Okay, are we, are we okay? Yeah, nobody in pain yet. <laughs> 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 Nearly. Right, so let's sink our bum back, bend the knees and inhale, lift the heart up and come into chair. And as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. 
Exhale, step or jump back into the downward dog. We're going to inhale, lift our right leg up. Exhale, shift our shoulders forward towards plank and then spin over the left leg, drop the right foot down. Inhale, push into the feet, into the left arm, lift the chest up into wild thing. Exhale, flip it back, step your right foot forward. Bring your left foot in a little bit, ground it down for warrior one. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. Now you might hit each other a little bit. We're going to inhale, lift the chest, circle the arms out wide. Exhale, fold forward and bring your hands into the lotus mudra. So the thumbs and little fingers are touching but nothing else. And inhale, you lift up and open wide again. Okay? And exhale, go down and grab the lotus and bring it up out of the mud. And inhale, open wide. Do it one more time, exhale, lift it out of the mud. Okay? And then you're going to inhale at the center. As you exhale, take your right elbow on top of the left and come into eagle, yeah, eagle arm position. Okay? We're going to inhale, press the elbows forward and lift up. As you exhale, lean forward from the hip creases. We're going to step our back foot in a little bit and lift that back leg up and keep your chest lifting so you're not sinking all the way down and smile. Should I make you chant? <laughs> okay, I'll, oh, exhale, lower that back leg down and just for one breath, inhale, lift all the way up. As you exhale, take your hands down and step back into downward dog. Have a little dog walk. And then we're going to Inhale, lift the left leg up. As you exhale, shift your shoulders forward and then spin to the right, dropping your left foot down close to your left buttock. Inhale, press into the feet, spin the chest up, push into your feet, get your bum engaged, take a deep breath in, beautiful. Exhale, flip it back down, step that left foot forward, ground the right heel down, inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into the feet and come up. And then inhale, lift the chest, circle the arms wide. And exhale, grab your lotus and come up. And do that three more times. Why the lotus mudra? The lotus is the flower of the heart center. And the lotus rises up from the mud. So no matter how much crap we have to go through, we can rise like the lotus if we've got love in our heart, okay? And then from there, take a breath in and then cross your left elbow on top of the right, coming into the eagle arm, the other way. Inhale, press the elbows forward and up. Exhale, transfer your weight into your left foot. Lift your right leg up, keep pushing the elbows away, but keep reaching the heart up. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, lower the right foot back. And inhale, lift the elbows, lift the chest again. And exhale, release the arms and take your hands down, go back into downward dog. Have a little dog. And then if you, yeah, are you okay for vinyasa one more time, people? Yeah? Let's inhale, bend the knees a little bit. Exhale, come into plank. Take a breath in your plank. As you exhale, next time, lower the knees down. Bend the elbows and bring your chest down towards the floor. Keep your bum high, okay? Now, some of you will find that this is plenty, you're not gonna go further. Some of you will extend the legs back so your legs are like in plank position, but your chest is down, okay? And then try lifting your left leg up and maybe bring your left foot towards your bum. And then if you want to, you can take your left hand to find your left foot <laughs> and press the foot into your hand. And then you can release that and bring your right foot up and bring it towards your bum. And then you can take your right hand and find the foot, press the foot into your hand, and then lower it down, and then go lower everything down. Have a little rest in, on your tummy. Okay. Have a little rest. Turn onto one cheek if you like. Okay. Maybe rock the hips gently side to side. Doesn't that look like dancer pose? Did it feel like dancer pose? Mm -hmm. Except you've got your hands on the floor instead of your feet. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we're going to open the front of our shoulders just a little bit more, and you all know this one so well. Okay. So if you bring a brick in front of you and place it underneath your right cheek, and you're going to take your right arm straight out to the side. So if you're going to hit each other, you can stagger a little bit, maybe, I don't know, okay. with the palm down. Okay. 
and then bring your left hand onto the floor alongside your chest with the elbow up and then bring your left knee up alongside your left hip okay and if that feels like enough for your shoulders you stay there if you want a little bit more you're going to roll over your straight leg and take that left foot and drop it behind your right leg so that the sole of the left foot is on the floor and the knee is up and then you might want to stay here or you might want to bend your right knee and have the right foot on the floor you can also take your left arm back to find your right hand, right wrist, or just wrap it behind your back. And you want to get your shoulders hugging the spine, so the shoulder blades hugging the spine, opening out the front of your shoulder, the chest, the heart, and breathe. And when you're ready to come out, release the left hand. If you've got the right knee bent, extend it and then roll back onto your tummy, bringing your left leg with you, and then put your left cheek on the brick, extend your left arm out, okay? and bring your right hand alongside your chest with the palm down, elbow up, bring your right knee up alongside your right hip, and then if you want to go further, you roll over your left leg and drop your right foot to the floor behind your left leg with the knee up, and you can also bend the left knee if you wish, and take your right arm back, either wrapping it behind your back or finding the left wrist or left hand with it. Okay. Again, draw your shoulder blades towards the spine, so you're opening the heart up again. Okay. And breathe. Wonderful. Nice deep breath in as you release first your right arm, Maybe extend the left leg if you've got it bent and then roll back onto your tummy and move the brick out of the way and come up onto your forearms. Because this is kind of like dancer pose-ish as well. So think about sliding the chest forward and we're going to bend our left knee. I don't know why left first today, no idea. Maybe because it's the heart. We're going to reach our left hand to find our left foot. Okay. Make sure that the pubic bone is firmly on the floor so you're not rolling like that, right? And then we're going to press the foot into the hand so lift the chest a little bit more. And then if you want to, you can draw the foot in towards your hip. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper into the back bend, you can push down into your right hand and come up. And have, make sure your chest is forward and take a nice deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Deep breath in. Exhale, come down a little now. Lift that left, no, don't let go of it. Push the foot back into your hand again. Lift the left thigh up off the mat. Reach your right arm forward. Now you're Superman. But you're also like dancing, please. And then lower down, turn onto one cheek, rock the hips gently side to side. Super woman, super bee. I forgot about that. Jane's gonna tell me off again. Super bee, super bee, not superman. Yeah. Get it right, Wendy. Super bee. <laughs> Come back up onto your forearms. I hope we don't rest that long in this class. You have to work hard to get your money worth, your money's worth, whatever. Right. So, press into your forearm, slide your chest forward so you already feel that heart opening. Push down with your left foot, bend the right knee. Okay. Take your right hand back to find the foot and just press the foot back so you open the chest a little bit more and turn your chest forward. And then you can start to draw the foot in towards your outer hip and you can stay here or you can bring your left hand down and lift your chest up. And we're going to chant, so take a nice deep breath in. Yum 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 Inhale here. As you exhale, you can come back down onto your forearm, but don't let everything collapse. You're going to push that right foot into your right hand and lift the thigh up. And then you can reach your left arm forward and breathe. Beautiful. And then lower down until you don't knock the camera. Turn on the other cheek. Maybe bend the knees. 
and let the feet just drop side to side a few times. So releasing into the lower back, into the hips a little. Lovely. We're going to press back into child's pose with the knees wide so that the spine is long. We're not going to go into the rounded position. Okay? So just have a moment in child's pose with the knees wide, head down, breathe a moment. Marvellous. And then from here, okay, we're going to come back up onto our hands and knees, take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going back up into downward dog. And inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. And as you breathe in, you're coming up halfway. And as you breathe out, push into the earth and come all the way up. Inhale and lift the chest up. Exhale and release the arms out. I have no idea what time this class ends. Time to end. 8.45. Okay, I forgot to give you a belt. So we're going to work with the belt a little bit today. So I'm going to keep one for me and I'm going to do this. And then, thank you. You got one. Grab one. Can you just make sure, once you've got a belt, make sure that there's a loop in your belt and the way you loop the belt is you put it through both loops at the same time first and then you bring it around to the front and go through the front again. Does that make any sense? Yeah. If not, can you just let someone else explain please? Yeah, I'm very good with each other. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So make sure you have a loop and then put it down.
but you want to make sure that if you've hooked the foot, you're pressing it against each other a little bit and chest forward and smile. Lovely. I was going to make you chant, but I won't be saying. And then exhale, release. Bring your hands down. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, step back into downward dog. Bend the knees, push your bum way back and up, lengthen the spine. And then extend the legs a little You can wag your tail a little bit here if you like. And then we're going to inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step up, jump to the front of the mat. We're going to inhale, wave the heart forward. Exhale, push into the feet, come all the way up. Inhale, lift your chest up, 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 up. And exhale to release. Grounding down into your left foot. Pick your right foot up, right knee up. Grab hold of the ankle, flip it back, and then fall. And keep the knees together. Reach your left hand forward and up. And press that foot back a little bit. Press your hips forward, thigh back. And if you want to, just slide it back a little bit. Keep the chest lifting. Right? Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, release it. Lower the foot down for warrior one. Inhale, lift the chest up. Lift the arms up if you're comfortable to interlace the fingers. Do that. If that's horrible for your shoulders, you can have your arms wide. Okay? And keep lifting the chest up, up, up. So it's a bit of a back bend. It's not a bit of a back bend. It's a proper back bend, this, right? So think about hugging the ribs and, and then lift up. Beautiful, everybody. And then inhale to come back to center. Exhale, release the hands. Lower your right knee down. Then bring your left knee down behind your left wrist, coming into pigeon pose. Okay? Again, walk your hands in a little closer to you. And inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, bend the elbows and fold. Inhale, wave the heart up again. Exhale and fold. Inhale and lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, place your left hand to the center, maybe on a brick if you prefer, okay? Bend your right knee, take your right hand back to find the foot, and press the foot into your hand, spin your chest forward. Again, if you have your balance and you want to challenge your core, you lift your left arm up. If you want to, you can also draw that right foot in close to your bum, and then maybe hook your right elbow across. Left hand can go behind your head, lift the chest, or you can reach it back and then spin your chest forward and breathe. And I'm going to fall over. Beautiful. Breathe into your heart space. Okay. When you breathe out, lift the pelvic floor. Send the breath up to the heart. And then everybody, exhale, release. Bring the hands down, tuck the toes under, take a breath. And as you breathe out, lift back up into downward dog. Bend the knees, press your bum way back and up, and then you can lower the heels down and maybe hip circles, whatever feels nice here. Wriggle your dog out a little bit. And then inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step a jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, coming up halfway, heart forward. Exhale, all the way up. Are we warm enough in there? Yes. Would you like to open the door? Yeah. Yes. Let's do that then. Thanks, Kate. Let's just push it all the way back. Yeah. It is warm, isn't it? So, what we're going to do now, okay, is we're going to do this dancer without flow, okay, just once, and we're going to chant. So, smile, okay? And after the dancer, we're going to do a hollow back handstand, and then we're going to do forward bends and lie down. No, breathe first and then lie down, right? So, can we please hook our, loop our belt? around our left foot. Okay. Now don't do anything yet because otherwise it takes forever for me to explain everything and then you'll be in there forever and then you wouldn't want to chant. Okay? So watch me a second. We're going to ground the right foot, we're going to lift the left knee up. The belt is going to be in both hands, okay? elbows up, and then you're going to walk your hands down the belt as, as far as it's comfortable for you. Now you can press the foot into the belt, maybe Walk your hands down a little bit more. Maybe you're going to tip forward from the hip creases, but keep your chest lifting up, okay? So take a moment to settle into the pose and then we'll do it together. So grab it into your right foot, lift your left knee up. Belt in both hands, the foot goes back behind you. Keep the knees together as you walk your hands down your belt and then start to press the foot back 
Feel how that opens your armpit area out. You might want to tip forward, but lift the chest up. Take a deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yeah, yum, yeah, yum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inhale there. Exhale lower. Hip circles. Hip circles. Best thing to do right now. Beautiful, everybody. Was that fun? <laughs> Nikki's like, yeah. Nikki wants more. So second side. Okay. So loop your belt around your right foot. Can you feel how that really opens up this whole shoulder chest area? Okay. Lovely way to work, I think. So lift your right foot up. Foot goes behind you. Hands holding the belt. Walk it down. And then squeeze your inner thighs together. Tip forward from the hip creases if you wish. But lift your chest up and then take a deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Inhale that. Exhale, lower down. Wiggle everything out. Whoa. Okay, so. We're going to handstand today if you want to at the wall, okay? But you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can do a half handstand or you can have a little lie down with a brick under your sacrum. If you're going to go into the hollow back, that just means that you go into your handstand and then you place your bum and your legs on the wall and you pop your chest over to the center of the room. I'm not done anything because I haven't done a handstand in a while since my nervous system got completely shot. Right, Vicky, would you like to dab on Vicky or Lewis, buddy? No, okay. So Vicky, can you do a, a hollow back for people to see? Yeah? So you don't want to be too close to the wall, but you also don't want to be too far away, because if you're too far away, it's hard to get your butt on the wall, right? So Vicky's just going to take herself up into her handstand, and then she's going to sink her bum back towards the wall. Are you close enough? Yeah? Okay. Now, you can send your chest towards the center of the room. You can also bend the knees. You can keep your legs together, bend the knees if you like. Okay? And then you just come out whenever you want to come out. She's going to stay. So, find some wall space if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to do that, please pick a half of one if you like. Okay? Or lie down with the brick under your safe. Just keep up. Whatever you do, do not fall into my camera. <laughs> right, so find your way. So if you want to do the half one, remember a short dog, press your feet, that's beautiful, Joe. That's it, you can bring the knees down a little bit more if you like. Yeah, have your tissue coats on the wall. Do you want me to help you? Are you okay? No, you can do it. Go. So are you stuck and can't get your bum to the wall? No, I'm just, I think there's a bar there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, exactly. Is it the same thing? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, so, uh, have a little rest when you've had enough. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so that's beautiful. Can I get your arms really straight? Push deeply down. And if you want to try bending the knees so that your feet are the wall, like that, and then come onto the pick your toes, bring the knees a little closer to you. Keep your bum back where it was, though. So it's a, yeah, a little bit like fish toes. And then when you're ready to come out, you just come out whenever you like. Okay? Are we okay, everybody? Had a bit of fun? Yeah. So if you want to go into a quick child's pose, so if you've been lying on the bricks and I want to just lower down, let the spine settle for a moment because we're not done. Right? Let's go. You've got another 10 minutes of yoga, asana, to do yet. So have a little rest somewhere, but then when you feel ready, then find your way up.
to sit. Okay, so no rush. If you want another few breaths before you come up to sit, please go ahead. Are we okay? Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. We're going to come into Malasana. But let's have a twist before we do that. So let's just sit nice and tall, feet wide like that, as if you were squatting. And take your left arm to the inside of your left leg, holding on to the left ankle. Take your right hand to your heart. You're going to inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, draw the ribs in and spin your chest to the right. And then you can take the right arm up if you like and breathe. And then when you're ready, use your out breath to come out of the pose and take your right arm to the inside of your right leg. Left hand onto your heart. Inhale to lift the heart up. Exhale, spin your chest to the left and then float the arm up if it feels good. And hold it here and breathe. And then when you're ready to exhale, you can release out. Now we're going to come into Malasana and we're going to go into row to open the back of the heart a little bit if you fancy it okay so come into the yogi squat take your feet as wide as you want them to be and then you're going to bring your well yeah reasonably wide take your elbows to your inner knees and press the palms together at your heart center and lift the chest up drawing your tailbone down and smile shall we chant you can bring your hands into the lotus mudra if you like okay and take a nice deep breath in Yum 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 Deep breath in. As you exhale, melt to the inside of your legs and bring your hands down. You can wiggle your feet closer together, hands a few inches in front of the feet. And you're going to squeeze your legs into your arms, push into your hands and lift your bum high, okay? And then rock forward. And you can just start rocking back and forth, or you can rock forward, look forward, and maybe you can float the feet up into your crow and hold it there a moment if you can and breathe. Into the back of the heart if you can, and then exhale lower down. And then we're going to come down and sit and extend the legs out. Um, we're going to come into, yeah, I don't know, I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, let's do a forward bend. So let's bend our right knee. Okay. We're going to have our right foot like about a palm's width away from our left thigh and keep the left foot really active. Let's twist to the right foot. So wrap our right arm, left arm across the right knee and right hand behind. Inhale, lengthen, exhale and twist. Maybe a little wiggle of the spine if it feels nice. And then take a deep breath in. As you exhale, turn back to the front. I'm sure we did this last week. Lean forward. We're going to take our right arm across the front of our right leg. And if you don't like to bind, you don't have to, you can just take both hands down to the floor like that, okay? But if you want to bind, you can wrap your right arm back to find your right hip and then take your left hand behind you and see if you can catch hold of your right hand, okay? And then inhale, reach the heart towards your left foot. Exhale and melt and relax the neck and breathe. Wonderful. And then inhale to slowly come up. And then we're going to just extend that right leg forward. No fuss. Okay? I was going to do that and then I found I've got time, so I didn't. Bend your left knee. Okay? And have about a hands width in between the foot and the right thigh. Wrap your left arm, right arm, across your leg. <laughs> Take your left hand behind. And as you breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, you twist and you can wiggle it out. You can hold still. It's all good. And then take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, turn forward. Again, we're going to lean a little forward. Take the left arm across the front of the left shin and you can bring both hands down to the floor or you can wrap the hands behind you, finding the bind and inhale, reach your heart forward. And then exhale, melt into the forward bend and breathe. And 
and inhale to come up, release the bind, extend the legs up. Option one, you're going to go into a seated forward bend. Option two, you go into plow pose. So you're lying down, swinging your legs over your head and drop it behind you to the floor. It depends on preference. It's the same pose, just, yeah. So do what you like, <laughs> within reason. Either seated forward bend or a plow pose, okay? So if you're doing seated forward bend, draw the belly in and fold over your leg. If you're rolling down into the plow, you're just swinging your legs over your head, dropping the feet down behind you, and then wiggle your elbows a little closer behind you so you can lift your chest up towards your chin, okay? So be where it feels good and breathe. And then those of you in plow, you're going to slowly roll down onto your back and lie down. Those of you in seated forward bend, you're also going to roll down to lie down. We're not lying down, we're going to do fish pose, so it's not lying down, relaxing just yet, okay? Now, think about that hollow back handstand we did earlier. It's very much like the fish pose, but you're standing on your hands if you're doing the hollow back handstand, as opposed to lying down, right? So, if you have neck issues today and you don't want to do the full pish, pish, <laughs> fish, <laughs> fish pose, then take your hands under your head, interlace the fingers and let the elbows go wide and you can bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. If you want to do the full fish, bend the knees, lift your bum up, take your hands underneath you with the palms down, interlock the thumbs and wriggle the upper arms underneath your back as much as you can then lower your bottom onto your hands and never lift your bum again. Extend the legs out, flex the feet, push down into your forearms, lift your shoulders up and drop the crown of the head back towards the floor. So normally this pose can be the throat chakra, but we're going to use it as a heart chakra. So take a nice deep breath in. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, yeah, yum, 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 yeah, yeah, yum. Deep breath in. As you exhale, slide your head out, release your hands. Stay in neutral spine position for a moment so you can have the legs straight, have the knees bent. But let your head just relax. You might want to turn your head a little bit side to side. And then we're going to lift the feet up off the mat and bring the soles of the feet together. And as you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Reach your hands for your feet or your ankles. Option one, draw your feet as they are towards your face and then lower your head down and stay like that. Option two, draw your feet in, lower your head down and maybe open your feet out into happy baby pose. If your lower back hurts, send your tailbone up towards the ceiling. If your lower back is happy, you can slide your tailbone forward and drop your chin towards your chest, okay? So it's all good whether you're going more rounded or whether you're going more flat back. There's no right or wrong, just different things get you in different places, okay? Think about pressing up with the heels, pressing down with the hands, and breathe. And I'm just going to go close the door. You can stay there for another year. <laughs> And then when you're ready, come out, bring the knees, deep to the chest, give yourself a big hug. And I always think it's quite nice if you keep your knees together for now and do hip circles with the knees together just to release the back a little, like the sacrum area. And then go in the opposite direction a few times. Lovely. And then give yourself a big, big cuddle and find your way up to sit. And if you want to put some warm layers on, please do. If you don't need the warm layers, just find your way to sit anyway. <laughs> We're going to sit nice and tall. So, how many more weeks have I got left teaching this class? This week, next week, and the one after and then I'll come back whenever I come back. But, so it's just August. So, what breath are we doing this month, guys? Viloma, I call it Viloma, but yeah, Viloma. Yeah, well done, what does it mean? 
against the flow. Against the flow. <coughs> literal translation, against the flow is what it means, against the flow of your breath. Okay? What breath are we interrupting this month? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them, both of them, both of them this month, right? So we're interrupting the in-breath, we're interrupting the out-breath. If you feel like doing both is too much today, pick one. Either the in or the out-breath. Or do the in for a few breaths and then do the out for a few breaths, okay? But if you're happy to come along with me, we're going to swap, yeah? So I'm going to sit tall. You've got options with your hands. You can relax them or you can bring them into your lotus mudra. And sit really tall and close your eyes, if you can. Then just start to become aware of the breath flowing in and out through the nose, if you can. And again, maybe you want to just breathe into the heart center and breathe out, allow your heart to be wide and soft. And then when you're ready, let's all breathe out completely together. And breathe in to fill a third of your lungs and pause. Breathe in to fill another third of your lungs and pause. Breathe in to completely fill the lungs and pause. Breathe out a third of the lungs and pause without collapsing the spine. Breathe out another third and pause. Breathe out completely and pause. And breathe in again a little bit and pause. Breathe in a little bit more and pause. Breathe in fully and pause. Breathe out a little and pause. Breathe out a little more and pause. Breathe out completely and pause and carry on with your own breath in your own time. Finish the round that you're on, just do one more. And when you've completed that last one, you can relax the hands down if they're not already relaxed and allow the breath now to just flow in and out freely and softly without interrupting the flow. And take a moment to notice any effect that the breathing technique may have on you, physically, emotionally, mentally. ready to breathe out next time gently lower the chin to the chest blink the eyes open extend the legs out give them a little shake and you're going to find your way to lie down is that your heart your heart, your heart monitor your blood pressure monitor yeah. that's okay so, yeah just so i know there wasn't anything going you're okay yeah, yeah, yeah. cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so am i so lie down, make yourself as comfortable as you can. Okay. And then once you find yourself comfortable, remember if you want to roll the back of the mat up a little bit to support under your head so that your neck is more comfortable, you can do that. Okay. If your lower back hurts, you can always bend your knees, have your feet wide and bring the knees to touch. 
And, but once you find yourself comfortable and settle into your relaxation, and close your eyes if you can and take a nice deep breath in. And exhale with a big sigh. And again, deep breath in. And let it go. One more time, nice deep breath in. And let it go with a big, big sigh. And then just breathe and let the breath go back to normal. And maybe just for a few moments, you want to take your attention to the heart center. And think about breathing into the heart and let the heart be wide open. Breathing out and let the heart be really, really soft. And dive deeply into the heart center and go and live in your heart center. Live fearlessly in your heart center and let your heart be wide open, let it be soft. And let that softness spread all the way through your body so that your whole body is soft and relaxed. And allow the mind to be soft and relaxed too. And give yourself permission to rest and relax, relax, relax.